everyone. We're ready for math. We're working with number combinations today, again, and we're using a new kind of tool to help us. It's these. These are called chips, and they're really neat because on one side they're yellow, and on the other side they're red. Okay, so let me show you the game that we're playing today. So the first step is to look on your paper and see what number you have here. Okay, you might have 7, 8, 9, or you might have 8, 9, 10, or 9, 10, 11. So whatever your numbers are, you'll be working with those numbers today. But the first step for each paper is look here and see how, what number is here. And that's how many chips you'll need for that page. So since mine is 6, I need 6 chips. So will you count with me? Let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have six chips. Okay, this game is called Shake and Spill. So the first thing you need to do, let me just turn this down so you can see this board on my lap, okay? So there, watch that for a minute. Is you're going to shake, shake, so put the chips in your hand and kind of put your hands around them. Shake them up. Do a good shaking. And then spill them onto your table or onto your board. And then I'm separating out my reds from my whites here. Okay. So now we're going to count. Let's see how many I have that are red and how many I have that are yellow. One, two, three, four, five are red. One is yellow. Okay, I'm just going to kind of leave that right there on my lap for now. And now we're going to look at our paper. So after you do that part, you're going to color on your paper these circles so that they look just like your chips. Now I have five reds, so I need to color in five. And I'm not going to do a great coloring job right now because that'll take a long time and that won't be fun for you to watch. So we're going to do five that are red. One, two... Three, one, two, three, four, five. And you don't want your numbers to go faster than your coloring, otherwise, your coloring, your uh, and the number of circles that your color will be off. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five red and one yellow. Okay, five red and one yellow. Okay, and then you're going to use a pencil, but I'm going to use a marker just so you can see. And you're going to write the numbers for these here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put a five here. One, yellow. Five and one make six. That's true. Five and one are a combination that go together to make six. Okay, then we're going to do it again to see what we get. And you want to try to get something different. So I don't, if I get five red and one yellow again, I'm not going to put that on my paper. I'm only going to put it on my paper if it's different than five red and one yellow. Okay. So here we go. Let's see what I get. Shake, shake, shake. And okay. Let's see. Well, I can already tell that it's different because I have two yellows this time. And last time I only had one. So one, two, three, four red. One, two, yellow. Okay, so I had four red and two yellow. So this time I'll color that. One, two, three, four red and two yellow. One, two. Okay. Then I need to write the numbers for that. One, two, three, four. Four red. One, two. And then I want to read it after. Four and two make six. So far I have five and one make six, and four and two make six. Two different ways of making six. I'll do that one more time. I won't actually do it one more time, but if I were doing my paper, I'd do it one more time. Okay, so I want you to do it three times for each number, and then you're going to move on and do another number. 
and then move on and do another number. And you'll do three different numbers today, okay? Each time you move to a new page, like say I was moving on to a new page, I was moving on to this page, this is eight, then I have to make sure that I have eight chips, okay? So I have six chips, but that's not enough because I need eight, so I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to get eight, whoops, this paper, eight chips, okay? Whatever number's on your paper before you start, make sure you have that many chips. If a chip falls in the ground or a chip goes somewhere else, make sure you get your chip back because you'll need that many for it to work out to be the right combinations. Okay, so go ahead, you'll need your couple markers or crayons, your papers and your chips. Okay, go ahead, have fun playing Shake and Spill.